in the last videos we have seen the table matrices column matrices and uh, in this video we will learn about uh, what is inside relationship steps so if you click here you can see the first column is the size the max from cardinality max to cardinality and missing rows and sample violation so in this video we will learn that how we can remove the referential integrity so what is the ref referential integrity uh, let me show with the help of an example so here is um, our power bi desktop go to the data model and here you can see we have the first table is the territory and the second table is the customer table and we have one to many relationship and uh, these both table are interconnected with the territory key in the territory table we have the key territory key and uh, the same key available in the customer with the name geographic key so if keys are available in the child table but does not exist in the parent table then it will cause referential integrity because child can't exist without parent but parent can exist without child so let's go to the duck studio so here you can see if i click on the uh, on the in the sale table we don't have any uh, missing keys and uh, violation so in the customers table we have uh, 326 missing keys so let me expand it and uh, here you can see the customer birthday the date first purchase so we don't have any missing keys but for the customer geography key and uh, territory table so here we have 326 missing keys so the second column here you can see this is the mix from cardinality whenever you will see the cardinality it means the table that is available on the many side you can assume like the table that is child so in the child table we have 336 rows and uh, the max to cardinality column this is the parent the max to cardinality this is the parent table and uh, in the parent table we have only 11 keys so it means about uh, 226 keys or more in the uh, customer table that are causing the referential integrity and uh, in the sample violation you can see these are the keys like 12 232 654 and so on so how we can fix uh, this issue if we are using if you use the sql then we just need a where clause in the customer table that select all the customer where the geographic key in territory key and then you will get only those records where both uh, geographic key and territory key are same so let's try to fix this issue because uh, and if you don't fix this issue it will overall uh, slow down your model so we need to go to the power bi desktop and uh, then we need to go to the transform data so here you can see this is the customer table and uh, we need to apply some filter here so that we we should get only those geographical key that is available in the territory table so these are the keys so here you can see we have only 1 to 11 right the territory keys but if you see here in the customer table um geographical geography key so here you can see we are getting uh, 14 15 16 and so on right so you need to click here merge queries merge queries as new 
and uh, this is the customer table and then the second table is territory so we need to choose the territory key the joining column and the geography key from the customer column and uh, we need to apply here inner join so we need only the matching rows so we just need to click ok so here you can see this is the merge one table so we can rename it like a customer update it and uh, we need to because we are not interested in the territory columns so we will just remove it close and apply so this new table is not being imported we need to delete this uh, default relationship the customer and sale table so then we need uh, let me zoom it a little bit so this is the new table so we just need to make a relationship um, geography key with the territory key so here you can see we are getting one to many relationship and the same with the customer key and sale table okay so we need to view matrix again relationship and uh, here you can see the customer updated this is the new table and uh, here you can see we are getting no missing keys right so this is how we can fix the referential integrity issue by fixing the table on the many side so one more important thing the values that are available in the uh, here in, in this column this value can be greater than from this column right because this this value belong to the parent table and this belong to the child table so parent can exist without child so you can see the parent table is territory and there are 11 keys that we can also verify here evaluate values table function and the territory and the key will be territory key and um, order by and run it and here you can see we are getting 11 values and in the same way if I try to use here customer updated geography key run so here you can see I'm getting uh, 10 rows only so th this is how we have uh, verified the keys that are available in the territory table and in the uh, customer table so in this video we have learned that how we can fix the referential integrity issue to optimize the overall performance so if you like this video please subscribe our channel and if you have any question please write in the comment section thank you